I get requests all the time on my channel to show you guys my makeup routine and my skincare routine. So I figured instead of focusing on one of those routines, why don't I do an entire video to show you guys my everything routine. So this is gonna be my morning skincare, my night skincare, my everything shower, makeup routine, hair care routine, literally everything. I am so excited. I've never seen this done on YouTube, so this was so fun to plan and film. I also wanted to say though that I am not a professional. I'm just trying to find products that work for my hair type and my skin type. I am so excited to show you all the tricks that I use and all the products I've been trying recently, but I am just your average 22 year old girl who loves getting ready. So I am still learning and trying to figure out what works for me. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. So let's get started. So to set the mood for tonight, I'm gonna be lighting this candle. I just got it. It's Rose Water and Ivy from Bath & Body Works. It is so cute. I'm not gonna lie, it really caught my eye because it's pink, but then I smelled it. Oh, and it smells so good. I love it. It takes a lot for me to like a more springtime fresh candle. So this one's really good. So I am gonna be lighting this. It matches like the aesthetic of this bathroom. So this is what my bathroom countertop looks like. I'm trying to keep it as organized as possible on this bathroom counter, but I have a lot of products that I use throughout my routines. This clear organizer is kind of where I keep everything. I tried to organize it as best as I can, but I ended up just putting stuff wherever they fit. And then in here is where I keep my makeup products. So I kind of have them like stacked in these little organizers. Again, like it's not the most practical, but everything fits, um, so it works. I have my skincare, hair care, and most of my self-care products on this. A couple things on the side, this pink washcloth, and then over here I have this little holder that has my toothbrush, and then this soap, which is actually so good. I love the lavender and vanilla scent, and for some reason, using foaming soap makes it so much more fun to wash your hands, so I love using this. I also have two candles over here. So that is what my setup looks like, so let's get into my routine. I start every single night by taking off my makeup. There is like none left by the end of the day, so I have my hair clipped back. I have on this super comfy shirt. My favorite sweatpants. I literally don't know what I wore before I got these. I wear them all the time. They fit so perfect. And then I have my fuzzy socks. So I am ready for my night routine. First, I'm going to be removing my makeup. I've been doing so good at doing this every single night because I used to have such a bad habit of not doing it. This has been my recent favorite face wash. This is the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. I just love it because it takes off all my makeup in one wash. Like I don't have to go back and extra scrub my mascara. So my makeup is removed, but I am not done washing my face So I've been going to my dermatologist for a couple years now and every time I go in he's like Did you get a facial massage roller thing yet? And I'm like, no, I still didn't get one I need to get one literally every time he asked me if I've gotten one So finally at this appointment, I was like, you know what? Let's just get one. Let's try it out So this one my mom actually had that she doesn't use anymore. So I was like, this is perfect I'm gonna try it out. So it just spins like this and I love this at nighttime to make sure everything is removed. So I recently have been pairing it with this Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. So it looks like this, it's so fancy. So I like to take a little bit of this and put it on my face and then with the brush, massage it in and use the water to keep going over my entire face. To be fully transparent, this Elemis Cleansing Balm was sent to me. I love this product a lot. I love this brand a lot, but it is very expensive. So I'm gonna keep trying it out and let you guys know if it's actually worth the price and if I'm gonna spend my own money buying this. I would definitely try the mini first. There's actually a lot in here. So now that I have a clean face, I'm gonna start off by using my toner. I've heard so many mixed reviews on this. For me personally, I've really liked it so far. I am not a fan of watermelon scents, but this smells so good. Like it doesn't smell like watermelon. It smells very fresh. So I got the full size bottle. It's a glass bottle, which is so nice. And it's cute and pink. So I just put this on my hand and then I'll just put it right on my skin and kind of press it in. Especially for a toner, I feel like a lot of them are very harsh. This one actually feels good when I apply it. I haven't used that much yet, so I will keep you guys updated on this. This product was recommended to me so much. I've just been focusing it on my cheeks because that's where I've been breaking out recently. One of the last parts of my skincare routine is to moisturize and set everything. This one is a part of my moisturizer rotation. Like It's just one of the ones that I have and I like. This is the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hydrolonic, wait, Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. It's really thick, like I like the consistency. It's like very soft. So I like this, especially at night.
all the extra product always goes on my hands. Honestly, my top tier lip product is Vaseline. I love it. It's just unbeatable. But I also love the Laneige lip sleeping mask. This one is in berry, which is my favorite flavor. It smells so good and low key tastes really good. I just love all lip balms, especially during the winter and the colder, drier months. My lips get chapped so much easier. So, in order to keep them moisturized, I am piling on the lip balm all the time. But I love this one. It smells so good. We are finally done with all of the skincare. My skin is feeling so good. It is rejuvenated my makeup is removed honestly it is just feeling so good so refreshed right now and next I'll show you guys what I've been doing for my hair recently I have had this issue for years where I swear my hair has not grown I tried getting my hair cut more often I tried getting it cut less often even though I put heat on it and I get highlights every couple months I still feel like in this many years it should have grown a lot more like I swear it's been stuck since I was like 16 so I don't know what's going on I used to have super long hair and then I cut it like to my collarbone and I swear in like six years it's only grown like this much so I don't know what's going on but for nighttime I've been using two different serums in order to try and have it grow and become healthier so far I'm like a month in and I've already seen a little bit of a difference I hope like I don't think it's a placebo I think I'm actually seeing a difference I got my hair done like a month ago and look it's already grown out a good amount the first serum that I've been using is the way scalp serum so I've been applying this to my scalp for like a month so I use a scalp massager to apply this every single night before I go to bed. I've seen this scalp serum work for so many people, so I'm really hoping it works for me. It's been almost a month using this consistently, so I'm excited to keep it going, finish the bottle. I'm hoping to have my long hair back though. And this is the other very viral hair serum I've seen all over TikTok that people love. So this is the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. So I've been using this too every night. This one is a lot thicker, so I make sure to use this at night because my hair gets like pretty oily after I apply this. And I focus this one on the ends of my hair. I rub it through and then I brush it out. The very last thing I do as part of my night routine is apply a moisturizer while I go to sleep. I just love getting into bed with my skincare and my hair care done and then I have like a really delish scent on. So recently these have been my favorite moisturizers. This is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. I love this so much. The orange scent is my favorite. I am trying to finish off this one before I start the next one. There is only a little left. It smells so good. So I like to put it all on my chest and my neck and then my arms. I am not even even kidding when I'm laying in bed going to sleep I just smell myself and I'm like oh my god I smell so good and then I relax and go to sleep and it's my favorite thing ever but that is pretty much it I'm ready for bed I feel so good like complete my day is done I am gonna blow out my candle turn off my lights and head to sleep I made my bed and it is looking so cozy but I am so excited to wake up tomorrow and show you guys my everything routine so I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys in the morning I brushed my teeth and I washed my face and now I'm gonna head into the shower. I'm gonna be showing you guys first my full shower routine. This is literally my everything routine. So I shower every day, but I only wash my hair like twice a week. Welcome to my everything shower. So this is what I do twice a week when I need to wash my hair and exfoliate and do everything a part of the shower. Starting with my hair, I've been using the Way Scalp Scrub. I love how this product smells and I find that it works so much better when I section off my hair because it's kind of hard to evenly distribute through my scalp. I have a pretty dry scalp, so massaging this through feels really good. Next, I use my Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. I usually switch off between these two and the Biolog products that you can see in the back. These products are all pretty expensive, so I take my time massaging this through my hair until my arms get too tired. I just want to make sure I'm fully using these products before rinsing them out. And then same thing with the conditioner. I put this in my hair and then I clip it back to let it sit so that I know it's working and doing something instead of rinsing it out right away. While it's sitting, I'll do my body care. So I'm using a body wash. 
and then the same way scalp and body scrub. I'm also gonna shave. I use the Tree Hut Shave Oil and this makes my skin feel so smooth. I have a very specific after shower routine that's probably the most consistent routine in this entire video. So number one, as soon as I get out of the shower, I chug my water. I always have a full water bottle sitting on the counter waiting for me because especially after these everything showers, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Next, I'm using the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. This is for the same reasoning as last night and that's because I love to smell it on myself while I'm getting ready. This smells so good. One of my favorite hair products is this Moroccan oil that I use every single time I get out of the shower. I rub this through the ends of my hair and then brush it out and it makes my hair so tangle free. This is like one of my number one essentials for after the shower. And then the last part of this four step after shower routine is putting on fuzzy socks. I just went upstairs for a little bit and made my matcha. It is so unusual that I would make a cup of matcha before my cup of coffee, but it sounded so good today. So I'm gonna drink this while I get ready. My order for getting ready has always been makeup, hair, outfit. There is no debates. I've tried every other order and this one is the best. I just have to stick to it. I always do this every single morning. My hair was able to air dry a little bit since I went upstairs. It's still pretty wet. So I am gonna start my routine. I just blow dried my bangs so my hair isn't too crazy. But every single time I take a shower and wash my hair, I always have this conversation with myself and I'm like, should I wear my hair natural and like embrace the curls or should I straighten it like I usually do? For the sake of today's video, since I'm showing you my routine, I'm gonna straighten it because that's what I usually do. Only my curly haired girls understand the struggle and the unpredictability of having curly hair. Like every time my friends and family with straight hair tell me I need to wear my hair curly more often, I appreciate it and I love them so much but they just don't understand having curly hair is so much work and I always notice every time I straighten my hair it holds up so much better throughout the day I'm able to like take my fingers and brush it but when I have curly hair I could leave the house and it looks so good and then as soon as I step outside it's just like a mess tangled too much and a lot of the time I regret not just straightening it so we're gonna straighten it today during the summer I like to wear my hair more natural but during winter I feel like I always straighten my hair but as I said I do makeup hair outfit so we're gonna start with makeup in prep for it I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare so I always start out with a moisturizer this one has been my recent favorite it was actually such a good price and I really like it. And it's also pink. I don't know if you could tell, but I love the color pink. And then my recent addition to my skincare routine every single morning is to use sunscreen. This is so important and I'm so glad I'm finally starting to do this every single day. Like I am 22, this needs to be a part of my routine. I guess this sunscreen is specifically to use under makeup. So far I'm really liking it because a lot of the time the sunscreens I use just make the foundation and concealer not really stick that well. So that is literally all I do for my skincare in prep for my makeup. It's nothing too crazy. Like as I was saying last night, I focus a lot more on my nighttime skincare. The last thing I'll do is apply a hydrating lip balm. I'm just trying the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm and I love it so far. This one's in mint. Let's get started into the makeup. I don't want to do like a full tutorial on my makeup routine. I'm kind of just going to apply the products and quickly go through like all the steps that I do. Honestly, my makeup routine changes all the time. Like there is isn't really any specific products that I repurchase. I kind of just use whatever I have and a lot of the time I'm using drugstore makeup because I don't want to spend $50 on a foundation and drugstore makeup has worked for me for a long time. While I do my makeup, I just like to highlight my natural features. I've been trying not to cover up my skin so much with like a thick foundation because I kind of want to see all my facial features underneath. I don't really have many freckles, but there's a couple spots on my nose. They come out a lot more during summer, so I don't want to like cover all that up. So when I'm doing my makeup specifically on my face, I like to cover up a couple breakouts, maybe a little on my dark circles, enhance my eyebrows, and then put on some blush and eyeshadow. Mm -hmm.
I'm filling in my eyebrows. Usually I like to dye them like every week so I don't have to fill them in as much, but I forgot to dye them this week. This high-end makeup product is the only product I will repurchase over and over again forever. I started using the Anastasia brow powder years ago and I am obsessed with it. It just works so well and I can't imagine using anything else. When it comes to eyeshadow, I do the same thing every day. I just take a simple matte brown shade and put it in my crease with a fluffy brush. Nothing fancy at all. I feel like it just adds something extra. One of the most important steps of my routine is to add a little bit of highlight to my inner corner and underneath my eyebrows. I feel like my makeup isn't complete without doing this. I used to put mascara on my top and bottom lashes religiously. Like I was so obsessed with how it looks and I still love it. But the only reason I stopped putting mascara on my bottom lashes was because no matter what mascara I tried, it would always run underneath my eyes so fast throughout the day and I was so tired of having to constantly wipe the mascara out from under my eyes. So I just gave up putting mascara on my lower lashes and now I only put it on my top lashes. My last step is to put on a lip balm or lip gloss. I love the Glossier Balm.com Wild Fig Lip Balm. This one is like the perfect color because it's just a little bit pink but it's not far from my natural lip color. It's hydrating and the packaging is so cute. So that is it for my makeup routine. This is what I do every day. I'm obsessed. It's like very natural. There's nothing too crazy. I can do this routine in like 10 minutes. Lastly, we are going to move on to this hair. Especially when I shower at night and then go to sleep with wet hair, I'll wake up and it'll be like literally huge. So this is what it looks like. It's pretty curly. It can get a lot more curly than this, but since I brushed it out earlier, it's already like lost a lot of its curl. So we're going to style this. First, I'm going to section off my hair because it's much easier to style and use heat on a smaller section. So before I straighten it, I'm going to blow dry it. I love this Revlon blow dryer. For the price of this, it has lasted me so long. It does a great job. It blow dries and styles my hair so I don't have to straighten it all the time. It's amazing. Amazing. So that's what we're gonna be using today. First, I'm gonna prep my hair a little bit with a couple products. My favorite hair product by far that I've ever tried is this Kenra blow dry spray. If you're gonna take anything from this video, get this product. It's so good. And this product is a great heat protectant. It makes my hair feel really soft. It doesn't make it like oily, even though my hair feels like soft and shiny. And the smell of this product is the best thing you'll ever smell. I wish they made this scent into a candle, a perfume. This scent is so good. Oh. I'm gonna do a quick blow dry to make sure none of this hair is wet before I start straightening. Next, it is time to straighten. So I got this Babyliss Pro Nano Titanium Straightener. And this straightener changed everything. I was using like the shittiest old straightener I'd had since like middle school that I think we bought at like Target. I had that straightener for way too long. So upgrading my straightener made a huge difference. I have a trick for you guys. This trick is gonna change your life. When I straighten my hair, I use a comb and I'll go section by section as I usually do. So I take the section and start with the comb and then follow it with the straightener. And I just go down that section of hair, combing and straightening it at the same time. And it like separates all the hair strands so you straighten everything at once. Using the comb has made the biggest difference. I feel like it makes the entire process a lot faster too. It's simple, but it's very effective. This is the difference I have between straightening my hair and just blow drying it. Like, look how much better this section looks.
just finished with my hair. It is completely straight and blow dry. That took forever. It always takes so long when I start from wet hair. So now that I'm done straightening and all of that, I'm gonna put in a couple of my last hair products. These two products work so good. This is the Olaplex Bond Smoother or the Redken Acidic Perfecting Concentrate. I feel like these two do very similar things. I usually prefer this one. I'm gonna take some of this and put it on the ends of my hair and then with my hands, work it up like it looks so much better now and movable so that is pretty much it for my hair if I have any flyaways I'll just take a comb and then a frizz control hold spray this is one of the ones that makes your hair like kind of crunchy so I spray it on my comb brush it through my roots that is it for my entire hair routine I can't believe we got that done <laughs> Literally every time I do that entire long process, it like starts out so good and I'm like feeling really good doing it. And then near the end, I was like, okay, can we please be done? Like I am so overdoing my hair right now. I just have very thick hair, so it takes me forever every time I do it. The last thing I'm gonna do is apply a perfume. I just got this one. It's the Way Melrose Place. The smell is so good. It's a very fresh and floral. So we went over a lot in this video. I showed you guys my night routine, everything I do before bed, my shower routine, and all the products that I use in the shower, my skincare, I did my makeup, and I just finished like my complete hair routine that I do every time I wash it. As I said, I don't do this stuff every single day because that would be way too much time getting ready. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying all the way until the end. This was so fun. I really hope you guys got something from this video. Definitely let me know in the comments if you have any tricks or anything a part of your routine that you cannot live without. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all so much. Bye. Mwah.